Today we're going to be installing the Taper Drive Dog Assembly Kit number 215. This, this particular kit is used on both Tape Tech and Asgard tools. And as always, we can reference the back card to exactly what tool that these replace. So it can be a regular taper, a Asgard, Tape Tech, carbon fiber. Uh, they're all listed right back here. Really handy. Open the kit up here. Take out the part. This thing's really in there. All right, so this part right here, sometimes it'll become worn. It's, it's all pre-made. It has a spring already installed. Um, there is a really important part right here. It's a little flat spot. So you see this little axle, if you will, that goes across. Um, there's a flat spot on here. And when I install this, I want you to remember that. So we're going to have to make sure we, we're aware of where that part is when we attach it to the tool. So again, we have our Tape Tech uh, standard aluminum carbon fiber and Asgard hammer. Um, we're going to use this tool here. And the first thing we're going to do is, with a larger screwdriver, large flat tip screwdriver, screwdriver, remove the easy clean plate. If it's an Asgard tool, we'd have to remove the whole plate, which means we have to remove the two front screws, loosen the two sides, and loosen the back, and pull the whole plate off. So we'll set this right here. And if you look right in here, there's a small hex head, let me get a screwdriver point to you, right here, that we're going to need to loosen. So it's a hex um, fitting, and I think it's 564 size. Tape Tech has a, a tool repair kit that you have all your tools that you can use, and this, this is actually a T-handled hex wrench that works really well. It's, uh, it's made for that part. What we want to do is just put this in there very easily and then kind of turn this and loosen it. Now, sometimes you have to actually turn and re reverse, you know, re remove the, uh, the pressure from the cable. And sometimes you're gonna have to, we might have to rewind the cable, sometimes not, but we're just gonna loosen this. Don't, don't take it out. You don't have to remove this part, just loosen it up. And then at that point, the drive dog itself, the old one should come out. Now, I'm gonna have to loosen it a little bit more. You gotta be careful not to take it out because it is kind of hard to get back in. And this part will just slide right on out. As you can see, Here's our old part. Move this forward a little bit. And here's the new one. Okay, so we have this little flat spot on here. So we need to, again, when we reinstall it, we have to be very careful that, see this little pin, it slides right over this, just slide it right over. There's nyliners in there, so you have to make sure you seat this properly. And then as we install it, again, the flat spot is gonna coincide with the little hex fitting that we loosened up. So we're just going to put the hex screw in there again. Get it in here. Tighten it up a little bit. And then you can kind of see it where it's flat. And then just basically push it in. And then tighten it up. Tighten that firm. So we make sure that it's turning properly. Because if that slips, you'll have blisters on your tool. We don't want that. So pretty easy way to install it. Um, you can test it and make sure, again, if, you're, if your cable is wound up, when you fill it up with joint compound, it'll straighten out at that point. Again, we're just going to replace our easy clean plate. Back on. Tighten it up to where it closes. And that's how you install that part. Now, I will say it's the same on the carbon fiber. With the Asgard, let's just repeat. We would, we would do the same thing, except we remove these two screws loosen these two side screws and loosen these two screws and this plate will come off and will repeat the same process on the Asgard hammer.